This is Go Math Lesson 4.2 for third grade, and today we'll multiply with 5 and 10. Now, as you see, they've already done um, the first problem here 5 times 7 equals 35. Um, I'm going to show you a couple different ways to do these. Uh, obviously, if you don't know your multiplication facts, that's why you're watching this video. So, I'm assuming you don't know these answers um, right off the top of your head. Now, whenever you multiply by fives, if you count by fives, you should be able to get the answer in order as long as you count it correctly. Same thing with 10. If you count by tens, if you know I've got by fives and tens, you should be able to do these. So I'm going to skip the first one. Let's just go to number three. So two times 10, that means there's two tens. So 10 plus 10, or 10, 20, when we count by tens. All right, here's eight times five, so it's a little bit larger. I might just use tally marks to help me count um, so I could keep my place. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, so I got 6 so far, 35, 40. So now I have 8 tally marks, and that was 40. So that's a way that we can count by 5s um, to find the answer there. Um, another one down here, If you remember, if you're multiplying by 0, you can't, 10 happening 0 times is still 0. All right, and just because if you see a problem like this, and you see a problem like this, remember the commutative property, and these answers will end up being the same because these numbers are just because these numbers are flipped around, it doesn't change the results. Um, when you go down to the bottom, you'll also see um, the problems are uh, vertical. So, for example, for doing number fourteen with ten, again, I could use tally marks to help me remember. Um, if I count by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. So boom. And that is how we multiply by 5 and 10.